According to the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, a simple definition of disclosure is the act of making something known or revealed. Is it normal for revelations to create so much chaos in families? You already know that my family has problems making decisions and agreeing on the most common types of things. But did any of us realize just how earth-shaking some information could be? How was anyone to know just how sharing one piece of information could change things for everyone else in the family? Is it normal for disclosure of information to cause such a domino effect in the family? Namaste everyone. Such an exciting time for the family. So many new beginnings shared at Christmas time. Since I will also be giving birth this year, Doug's gonna need to have a flexible schedule so he doesn't miss any of the new beginnings in our life. Amy, it's been so wonderful for you to finance Doug's startup company. And Bradley, thank you so much for providing projects for Doug to put in his portfolio. I wasn't sure that you were hearing me when, when I asked you to support your brother, but I apologize, please forgive me. Yes, Amy, your support means the world to Doug. <laughs> Let's just hope she doesn't mean that literally. That Solstice understands that Doug will be expected to actually work to make this business come together. And, um, well, I am off to go put my feet up. I'm taking after Elizabeth's example at the family's Christmas party. I don't think I saw her stand up once. She was lounging around on the sofa like a princess. And Kathy, she made a plate for her so that she didn't even have to get up to get her food or eat it. Did you see her? Carolyn, honestly, I didn't even notice that Elizabeth wasn't moving until it was time to do cleanup in the kitchen. And then I thought, well, if Kathy's doing everything else for her, maybe Kathy should come in the kitchen and do Elizabeth's part of the cleanup. And, and I thought better of that, the idea of having Kathy in the kitchen it didn't sound relaxing to me. So anyway, and honestly, you know what? I don't remember telling Doug that I would finance his new business. Did I say that? I don't remember even saying that. And so what? John and I win the lottery and now we're responsible for financing everything in the family that everybody wants to do? I mean, I thought that was Bradley's job. So I don't know. We're still just really dazed about it. I just, you know, I don't know what to think. I just doesn't feel real yet. We really haven't sat down and made any serious decisions yet, so it's still just kind of all overwhelming. Um, anyway, how's Micah? Give him a little hug for me because I miss that little sweetie pie. I hope his arm is healing well. Okay, talk to you later. Amy, I think we need to discuss this whole lottery issue more thoroughly. Since Kathy was the one who actually purchased the ticket, Perhaps it is really her ticket and her winnings. I think you might have jumped the gun just a tad to assume that the money is yours. I'll check with Bradley about it later, but I don't think you should do anything just yet. You haven't told anyone yet, have you? Amy, since you won the lottery, can we build the entire family a stadium? Think of how much it would benefit the family and how much money we'd save if all the men didn't have to go anywhere to watch games and we could just do it in our backyard. And thanks for asking about Micah. Physically, he's doing great. Mentally, he's still sad about not being able to play, football, play baseball. I don't know if it's sunk in yet that he's not going to be able to play next year either. We'll see. Amy, Solstice said I had to thank you for giving me money to start my business. No one asked me if I wanted to start my business. I'm not sure that I want to quit my job and start a business anyway. All the work that goes into starting your own business. I just don't know that I'm ready for that right now. I've enjoyed the work I've done for Elizabeth, but I don't know if I'm ready to start my own business right now. And now, Solstice wants to have a baby, I heard. Why am I the last to know about this? 
She didn't even tell me. I had to find out with the rest of everybody else at the family Christmas dinner. I mean, isn't this what spouses are supposed to talk about? This is something that should be talked about private, not open at a family dinner between two spouses. Doug, I'm not pressuring you to do anything. The way that I remember it is we were talking at Christmas and Bradley and Elizabeth were bragging about what a beautiful job you had done with the nursery, which kind of led into a discussion about maybe you should start your own business. I don't remember it that anybody was telling you that that's what you have to do or that I was telling you that's what you have to do. We were just talking. So nobody's saying what you have to do. That's for you to decide if you ever get around to deciding. But anyway, I wouldn't say that, you know, John and I have not decided what we're going to do with our lottery money. So to jump to the conclusion that our lottery money is going to finance your business that you're not sure you want to do. This just isn't going to happen in that way. So please just relax about it and, you know, make your own decision about what you want to do with your life. Amy, I think you were more than patient with Doug. If we were able to force him to do something, I think we would have forced him to man up, to participate in his own life, and get Solstice under control. Uh, a long time ago, but since we have not been able to do that, why does he think we can force him to start his own business now? Whatever. And Amy, I think it would be really fun if you got pregnant this year too. Can you imagine four pregnant ladies in this family? Our poor husbands would have gray hairs. They would just go crazy. <clears throat> You people really need to do a better job of keeping me informed. How am I supposed to do my job if you don't tell me anything? I've ordered four matching cribs, changing tables, and bassinets. As soon as they arrive, I will send the bill to Amy and I'll schedule Doug to come and assemble them at all of your houses. In the future, please advise me of all of your needs in writing so that I can schedule my time to meet your deadlines. Amy, we need to discuss my salary especially since you're keeping the lottery winnings, even though I'm the one who purchased the ticket. I expect my salary to be generous to the point where it uh, reflects your uh, gratitude that I'm not taking legal action. Ooh, Amy, look out now, man. So what are you gonna do? What are, what are you gonna do with the money? People always dream about winning the lottery and fantasizing what they're gonna do with the money. What are you going to do? You know, usually it seems like it would be such a wonderful thing, but right now it just feels like a mess. And I'm not even the one with the money problems. If you need an escape, you can always come to Maya's Princess Protection Program Room. Thanks, Carolyn. I know I can depend on you. Um, I don't know what we're going to do about the money, but just between you and me, John and I did have Bradley look into the legal issues about the money, and what he found out was that um, Kathy can't lay claim to the money, and we she doesn't have a legal foot to stand on, but I don't think that Bradley told Elizabeth that, or that, you know, Elizabeth wouldn't have told Kathy that because she didn't know, so some of them are still in the dark. So, you know, I don't know what we're going to do about that. And we have an appointment soon with the, um, with the lottery people. So I guess we're going to have to make a decision soon. But we haven't made a decision yet. So anyway, enough about me. What about you? And how are you feeling? And how's the new little baby? And do you have morning sickness? And are you craving pickles and ice cream yet? And um, how's Micah? How is he? Is his arm healing well? And is he kind of come to peace with the whole not being able to play baseball yet. I hope so. I need to get out and see that little tight because I miss him so much. Your family's so sweet. And Maya, give her some extra little kisses tonight when she goes to bed in her princess protection room. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. Amy, I have answers to your questions about the subsidiary companies to your charity. We can meet on that in person and, and talk about it. I've been also been given some thought to my salary and whether I want to be a full-time or, or just an advisory board member. 
just let me know what you want to do and uh, and uh, let's get together soon. Thanks. Namaste, Elizabeth and Caroline. I just attended a cleansing ritual for myself. It was to prepare my womb for receiving a new life. I couldn't believe it. In the class, they also talked about how to prepare our nurseries and our rooms in our house for the baby. So, Elizabeth and Caroline, as a baby gift to you, Doug and I would like to pay for a healer to come over to your house and cleanse your nurseries and your, your spaces. I know, Caroline, you didn't do this for your other children, but I think it would really help to do it now for your entire family, not just the baby. Let me know what days would be best for you so I can get it scheduled. Solstice, thank you so much for offering to send the healer to us. That is very kind and generous of you. I think I would like to wait, however, until the nursery and Kathy's rooms are complete and all construction is finished. That might be a few months away since we will not finish the nursery until after we know if we're having a boy or a girl. Well, since we're adding a new bathroom for Kathy's suite, that might take a while too. For now, let's not schedule anything. I'll, I'll let you know later what works. Amy, help! Elizabeth has a perfect excuse to put Solstice off with this whole cleansing thing. What am I supposed to say? And also, I need your help again. You've always helped me in the past picking out baby names, and I want to stick with the M thing, but it's time that we start thinking about this. Carolyn, I have been thinking about baby names for you. Don't worry, we'll come up with something great. So, as far as Solstice goes though, I mean, I think that you really should let her have her way with this one and let her do the cleansing. Every now and then you just have to let Solstice be Solstice and do her thing and appreciate her and love her for who she is. And really this is like a least invasive kind of thing. I mean it's not like you want to wait and give in to her when she asks you to tattoo your baby names all on each other's backs or something, you know. So I don't know, my advice is just let Solstice go ahead and do this cleansing thing for you and it'll be okay. But Carolyn, what are we going to do about Kathy moving into Bradley's house? I mean, I think, you know, we don't have any say in what Elizabeth does at work, and I get that. But at the same time, you know, Kathy's taking over our family now. Don't we get a say in that? Caroline and Solstice, I sent you an email with names that are on Elizabeth's shortlist. Neither of you are allowed to consider these names for your children. Also, the email contains dates uh, that I have set aside for the baby shower, so please let me know which works best for you. Amy, don't say it. I did double check, and the video I posted about baby names were marked private. For your eyes only. Is Kathy now reading our minds? That was just so weird. Anyway. I'm curious to see that list of how many M names are on her list. How many people in her family could have an M name? Oh well, I'm not worried about it. There are plenty of names to go around for everyone. Did you see the picture of all those baby name books behind her in the posting? I guess Elizabeth hasn't learned the trick about using the phone book. Do you think that we should share with her or tell her that's how I got the names for my kiddos? And don't ask me how to get Kathy out of our family. Maybe we can ask Solstice to cleanse the family. Does that work anyway? I don't know. Oh, uh, the good old phone book. Do they even make those anymore? Uh, Caroline, have you found your pictures yet of the ones you're going to send to Elizabeth? I'm, I'm finding pictures, you know, that have all of us in them. But I'm having a really hard time finding pictures of us alone. What are you sending her? You all might think this is silly, but I went to this cleansing class with Solstice to try to cleanse all of this negative energy. The negative energy is what keeps me down and because of it I never think I'm good at anything. Elizabeth and Kathy helped me to see that I'm good at construction and I'm good at decorating. Amy must see something good in me if she's willing to finance my new business. And Bradley has always supported me quietly, low key. So I'm working on this cleansing stuff so that I can become a new Doug, a different Doug than you all know. This new Doug is gonna be 
someone totally different. I really appreciate all the support you all are providing me. It makes me feel good. Amy, what pictures are you talking about? Did I miss something? Oh, and did I tell you that Doug stopped by the other day wondering if I had any work for him to do? He's actually talking seriously about starting his own construction company. And it sounds like he's pretty serious about it. The only thing I'm worried about is what's going to happen once work with family dries out and he's got nowhere else to go. Caroline, I sent you an email requesting pictures of you and Tony when you were younger and pictures of your entire family today. I would like them to be individual, not group pictures. So that means two old pictures and six new ones. Elizabeth has this adorable plan for the baby's nursery to post pictures of all of the baby's family. But don't worry about frames. I'll take care of that. So please send me your pictures in the next 24 hours. Why does this family have such a difficult time with deadlines? So Carolyn, are you and Elizabeth is also just going to coordinate about baby names so that you don't end up with same names? And maybe somebody should take Solstice out and explain to her that she shouldn't pick some the weird names like Jupiter or Crystal. Maybe that should be you, Carolyn. Amy, thank you for your concern about what I plan to name my baby. I think Crystal would be a lovely name. And I, the more I think about it, I think Rose Crystal would be a perfect name for a little girl. And I would be happy to educate you on the significance of Rose Quartz Crystals. Maybe then you would understand that that name would be perfect for a little girl or young woman. Carolyn, don't even say it. Privacy settings. I know, I know. Actually, I think Crystal Rose is a nice name. I think it's kind of pretty, but until people start calling her Crystal Meth, and then it's not so funny. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, that wasn't very funny, but okay, anyway. Did you notice how Solstice keeps talking about this baby as my baby and not our baby? I wonder how Doug feels about that. Um, anyway, I hope, you know, with all this talk about the lottery and babies, and I hope Solstice doesn't ask me to buy her a baby if she can't have one. It seems like everybody else is laying claim to our money, and we don't even have it yet. Okay, have a good day. Talk soon. Amy, Caroline, why are you helping Solstice pick out baby names anyway? She's not pregnant. Can we just please slow down a little bit? This stuff is going way too fast. For now, I just want to start my own business. That's what, that's what I want my focus to be, starting my own business. Being this daddy thing, it's going to have to wait. I'm sorry. I really am trying hard here to become a new Doug and not be so negative all the time. Namaste, everyone. I'm sure you saw Doug's last post about wanting to wait to have a baby. I understand his position and fully support his work that he's doing to cleanse the issues from his soul. I, however, am asking for your support as I prepare to become a first-time mother. Well, that was an interesting exchange between Doug and Solstice. I wonder what the backstory on that was. But I do think Solstice was right though. Marriage takes a lot of compromise. I have a serious question to ask everyone. If our baby is a girl, Bradley and I would like to name her Emma Grace in memory of the sibling you all lost in childhood. How do you all feel about that? Would it be too painful? We think it would be a lovely tribute to her and her memory. Please tell the truth. How do you feel about that? Elizabeth, I, I think it would be lovely for you and Bradley to use Emma's name. That's really sweet. You know, Emma died so young that I'm not sure that Carolyn and Doug remember her all that much, but Bradley and I certainly do, and I think that would be really nice <clears throat> for you to name your baby girl that, but not if it's a boy. Okay, have a good day. Elizabeth, I think that is a lovely idea, too. You know, that really got me thinking, Amy, that maybe you could use some of that lottery money to start a nonprofit organization to help children like Emma. And, you know, that would be just such a lovely way to honor her memory. 
Amy, I would not spend that lottery money just yet. We still haven't determined if it's yours or mine, and I have no intention of starting a nonprofit for Emma. She's not even born yet. Caroline, please do not select a boy's name. Elizabeth has not announced her pick yet, and you said that she could have first choice. Thanks so much, Caroline, for putting the word out there that about my lottery winnings, and you know Kathy heard that, right? So yeah, you could have given me a warning before you were gonna do that. Um, and as for baby names, I've got some good ones for you. If it's a little girl, I think you should name her Miracle, because it's a miracle if Kathy stays out of her birth. And if it's a boy, I think you should name it Middle, because eventually he's going to be your middle child, right? I think those are great names. What do you think? I'm not so sure I ever agreed to let Elizabeth have first picks, but whatever. I just hope Elizabeth knows that we're planning on using a name that begins with an M, which um, I don't think your suggestions were very funny. I am not going to have 10 kids. And, you know, Doug has been around here looking for some work to do for us and we just we really don't have a lot to do around the house right now um, and to be real honest I have a really hard time paying him for work to do around our house when he's he didn't use his own money to pay us to reimburse us for the window that his dogs broke he should do the work for free and not pay us with Bradley's money or he needs to compensate us for all the expenses that his dogs caused. Caroline, I sincerely appreciate you trying to find things for me to do around your house. I'll do those things for free to compensate you for the window. As I work through the cleansing process, I could see that you're right about that. I hope that you will accept my apology even though it came so late. This whole thing has not been easy, but I'm getting through it. Bradley and I have settled on a name for our baby if it's a boy. We will name him Matthew after my father. Matthew Allen. We feel good about honoring your late sister or my late father with our choice of names. Anyway, I just wanted to let you all know so that Caroline and Solstice can select names for their babies that will not conflict with ours. Carolyn, don't even say it. It was her father's name. How was her grandmother supposed to know that you were going to name all of your children M? Let it rest. Well, we've decided on a name, and so it really doesn't matter anymore now. Amy, so have you decided what you're going to do with the lottery money yet? And when do you know when you're going to get it? And... Sometime, I want to get together with you and have a serious conversation with John and Eric. Um, maybe some of the other family members too. Since Micah can't play baseball next season, I have this idea. You know, he broke his arm and he can't play, so he's going to be sitting on the bench with all the other bench warmers. And we thought this could be a great time for him to start his own ministry. Maybe encouraging the other bench warmers and showing them how they can be a, a really helpful part of the team as well. And so Mike and can use this next season as a way to help others and it kind of coincides with Doug's transformation too. Maybe this broken arm will provide him a whole new opportunity to see the world through the eyes of other kids and make them feel more valuable. Everyone needs to find their place in the world. And I think Doug's transformation and Micah breaking his arm have opened up some really interesting new topics that will be a blessing in the long run for many, many people. Anyway, let's talk about it sometime really soon, okay? Amy, Solstice said you were getting your lottery money soon. When can we coordinate calendars and meet and discuss this? While you're helping pick out baby names, we can also talk about the new business name for my business. I'm looking forward to working with you on this. Carolyn, your idea about um, what you want to talk about with me and John 
it sounds really interesting, and I think that, you know, that's just so sweet of Micah to, you know, want to do that for the other players. I just think that's amazing that we've taught our kids to turn a crisis into a blessing. So, yeah, let's definitely, um, let's get in on that, and I think, you know, probably um, Emily will want to get in on that action, too, so that would be good. And um, I heard that Elizabeth has, or I should say Kathy, has picked a date for Elizabeth's baby shower. Did you hear about that? And Doug is finally back on his feet and finding his way, which I think is so wonderful. And, you know, so many things have happened to our family in the last month or so that we always thought they were crises when they happen, and then they turn into blessings. So isn't that normally the way things go? Isn't it great? But still, I am a little bit nervous about what's going to happen and how the family's going to react when John and I share what our plans are for the lottery money and the fact that Kathy can't get any of it. So um, we're prepared to share, but who knows how the family's going to react to our news.